Never stop tonight. We so so easy to love you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. 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 Oh Just because you expected it doesn't mean you don't freaking move at all. Hello everyone, Carissa here. So I finally have gotten to my acoustic versions of Universe and um, shoot, Orbit, yes. So on this, but like their particular album that Universe is on, um, Orbit didn't go on my playlist. Um, I added from Montage and Envision onto my playlist from that album. Those were the, the those plus Universe were my favorite songs off of that album. Um, but I still am totally, I know I'm gonna enjoy Orbit anyways um, because it's one week. So yes, but we'll see if this makes me cry. I can get through the whole song now until about this the second, the second chorus gets to me but I feel like the fact that this is acoustic is gonna make me cry earlier maybe not Ah, uh, that still hits really well. It doesn't hit the same as in the like fully produced version, but it still hits nicely. Oh my gosh, all of those band-aids. Well, not band-aids, he probably wrapped his fingers. I still love that Harin has a little like mini symbol too.
Uf. Uf. So either either I'm getting more of I either I'm getting more like used to the song so it's not like getting me in my feels. I'm getting a bit numb to it. Um but no, I think I really love the I love acoustic versions of songs. I love it when groups come out with acoustic versions um, because it's just nice to have something like a little bit like less produced and more like raw. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that the acoustic version is going to hit me in the same way. Nor am I going to prefer the acoustic version over the regular version. It varies very much varies um, in terms of stuff like that. So I think I prefer the like regular pr regularly produced version of universe that's the one that gets me in my feels and everything um but the acoustic version hits really nicely too um obviously it's phenomenal like uh, don't don't get me wrong i'm not saying that it's not good or anything it's absolutely phenomenal and i love hearing their raw vocals and everything like that and it's just it's amazing um but it doesn't hit me the same as the regular version does um okay so now we're gonna go over to orbit um and since this isn't on my playlist it doesn't like you know i think i've listened to it a couple times because i listened to every song a couple times on the album um because i think i was trying to decide if i wanted to add this or not to it so i remember listening to it a couple times and then i decided not to because i liked from montage and envision better so i didn't end up adding this one um so, but I should still be a tad bit familiar with it. Um, and I'm still excited for it. Ooh, they got the handbox this time. Starting off with Kang Hyun solo. <laughs> That's this one, okay. Okay, the melody from this really well. My downstairs neighbor goes in and out so many times and I don't know why because they don't go anywhere. They just open their patio doors, open and shut all the time and it's annoying, especially when I'm recording.
listen to Young Hoon sing like I would listen to Young Hoon sing like the song I hate the most in the world. I don't know what that song is, but if there's a song I really, really disliked, I would like totally listen to him sing it over and over again. Like, no, I think the reason why for me personally, Orbit didn't make it on my playlist is because even though it had ups and downs and it had like dynamics and everything, I still felt like the song was very much just like, I don't know. I don't want to say flat because it wasn't flat. Uh, shoot. <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't flat and it had, it had ups and downs, but I feel like overall for me, it just felt kind of, you know, oh, I can't think of the word. This bugs me. I have so many times like that where I just can't think of the word that I'm trying to use to describe my feelings. <sighs> Struggles. Um, no, that was gorgeous. I did notice that Harin didn't have his, uh, his speakers wrapped that time. And I was wondering if, because I don't know that much about like, like the little, like, I don't know what they call them either, um, that they're like drumming on for the acoustic versions. But that, the one in Universe looked like it had like a metal plate on it. So that is that why? And then this one had like a wooden, it was wo all wooden. But the other one looked like it had a metal plate on it. So maybe that was why he wrapped his fingers for that one. Um, so anyways, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.